All right, so let me give a quick shout out to our platinum sponsors. We Bleed, FPV, and Orca, our highest level of sponsorship for this. Also have, um, why do I never remember this word? What? Things on the track. <laughs> Course features. Thank you. Yeah. Course features on the track. We've got the We Bleed gates, and we have the Orca goggles. Yeah, you can see both of those on the mountain which is, of course, the centerpiece of the Whoop Wars 2022 raceway. We bleed gates all over it, but those those ones on the lower left of your screen built into the mountain are called the We Bleed Caves. And then, of course, on this side, those two um, lower gates, part of a huge piece of artwork on the side of the mountain representing the Orca Goggles, battery, one of our platinum sponsors also. So, Orca's also given away a free set of goggles. V2 goggles. What does that mean? Means that they're there, their newest version that were just released. Okay, but people are very excited about the V2 goggles. All right, well, I am undereducated on what's the difference between V1 and V2. If you know in the chat, educate me. Yes. Let please. me know what's going on, what the difference is. Cassidy, what's happening? Saying, let's go Wookie in the chat. Wookie in this first heat. Gonna get a practice round first, but. We're kind of setting up a little bit slowly here. Let's go FPV saying, that makes sense about aborting the Joe collab. Thanks, guys. Missed that All part. Right, no problem. So we're looking for thumbs. I mean, we're here. I want to watch that chat uh, way more one often than yesterday because it's not just qualifying. This is finals. And from, any questions really about rules, format, one pilots, I'm here for you. I'm friends with one all the pilots. I want to make you feel like you're here. That's what they do at Perspective Image. Look at this launch shot right here. Our four pilots jump off the line, and that means that pro class one is officially lap. underway. Remember, this is one practice lap, like you heard, just heard Dave say. Oh, funny tip there for Radioactive. And we are getting a little bit of stuttering in the FPV feed. That's all right, though, guys. We can still tell what's happening. Radioactive making it nuclear. 17 radioactive, laps left. that is a misread. Don't pay False any read. attention to that. False yeah, read. calling it out. Keller, False remove read. it. He is Sue Lil Silly, 21.72 laps left. So yeah, this is just getting that blood pumping through your flow, get left. through your thumbs. Lil Silly, chilling on the ground, trying to get up and get moving. Let's see if he can get some action out of Lil Silly's quad. Wookie's also chilling on the ground and not sure why. I bet both of them are thinking, man, I'm glad we had that practice to figure out that that went wrong. So tech it technically not Beautiful a tech thing about that practice lap. We can get left. our timers figured out. Make sure that your drone is flying correctly. Well, you're in charge of making sure your drone's flying correctly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Guess I should rephrase that as the pilots get to figure out if their drone is flying correctly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, radioactive hit that start gate. We got a shout out from Rab FPV in the chat. Oh, what up, Rab? Talking about plot twist. Rab comes into the race and steals the win. What's that? I mean, what? What's up, guys? Yeah, you were getting picked <laughs> up. Uh, I, <laughs> I missed that. You're like blasting a little too much. Or? Wish you were here, Rab. This is Pro um, Class Finals. We're just starting. That was the practice for heat number one. We're about to get our first official heat uh, underway now. Since we got that practice lap. We're going to do fresh batteries real quick and then send them out. Deadlock FPV saying, let's go, Rod. That would be Radio. a shout-out for Radioactive. Rodney, a great left. innovator in the Tiny Whip community. He is Sue Lil Silly, 22.2, final lap. <laughs> I just figured out Sco FPV in the YouTube chat says, Sco Lil Silly, and it made me realize that Sco FPV is a reference to Let's Go. Of course. All right. We've got a couple comments in the chat letting us know about the Orcas. Front Rage FPV says Orca is supposed to release an HD module. That's the primary difference. And the field of view is smaller, but less of a fisheye. Oh, cool. Okay. I th so is this the difference between V1 and V2 or V1 and Race Edition? That's another question. I believe question. they have a race. It's we'll that there's a Race Edition V2 on V2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a high end version V2 and a Race Edition V2. Awesome. I've still never gotten to fly with orcas, but when I win this um, raffle ticket, right? I got a, I got ten raffle tickets, y'all. It's gonna happen. They're just gonna call out Jesse's name. They're gonna hand him over those orcas. All the orcas. 
<laughs> Here's your bracket. You can see all the pilots participating in the upper left. Those 16 pilots have been qualified into the pro class. We're going to divvy them up between the winner's bracket and the consolation bracket, also known as the elimination bracket. We got the practice round out of the way for Lil Silly, Zotech, Wookie FPV, and Radioactive. Now we're putting them back on the starting line, and we're going to launch them in just a moment. <laughs> Thanks, Go FPV. <laughs> Spelling it out that I figured out what his name is a reference to. <laughs> Pretty good one. Very, very nice. All right, I see four quads down. I'm going to change my name to SGO FPV. <laughs> Sgo. Just kidding, man. I love Sgo. Marty <laughs> Mueller. Saying a little silly, you can do it. There's our race master <laughs> plugging in quads for the official start of Heat One. Spacing them out. A little different than yesterday. He was making all of them touch, touch ducks yesterday. <laughs> Must have gotten some criticism. Or maybe we should just say feedback. Need to do a quick battery reset there. Just a little power cycle. <laughs> Having a video problem, I guess. So mm. we're unplugging everybody. Got a deadlock FPV saying that we should just start them all on top of each other. <laughs> That's what we almost decided to do yesterday. All right, just have a nice little stack. Did you see Kevin Turner's April Fool's video? Missed it. Oh my goodness, he put together a tiny trainer, a five inch switchback, and a five inch, um, the freestyle footy, and like stacked them on top of each other, zip tied them together, and like took off. Nice. <laughs> it was just like the most amazing thing I've seen. <laughs> he said it was the new f f uh, f five, Fly 533 edition coming out. <laughs> I would buy that. Right? <laughs> Sko FPV says, Jesse, if you change your name, let's start a go gang for FPV. Sko FPV and Sko FPV. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah, you can be the gang leader and I'll be your little goon. There we go. Ooh, looks like we have fixed our lower third. Now says Whoop Wars 2022 Finals Day. Yeah, that's been there a while. Got some nice things going on. I can see these pilots diagnosing this video issue real quick. so much for helping us surpass that 100 mark on the likes now we're working our way towards 200 we're at 105 likes can we get at least 95 more i think so between pro class and uh elite class we're gonna do it it's gonna happen help us reach our goal everyone and while you're at it make sure that you are subscribed to perspective image we have a goal there too of 500 subscribers by the end of this 
All right. Hopefully video is back. We are plugging back in. He said pit mode. Pit mode. It's all in your ear, Frost. All right, let's turn it on again. We got Woody, we got, we got Randy Lactive. Silly, our little silly, good? All right, throw it live. Full set in five. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's 4.20 p.m. in Denver, Colorado, and we're just about to launch the Pro Class Finals. You can see our pilots jittering around on the block, and we've got all four of them off and running. A face plant for Radioactive. Lil Silly's also down, Wookie running into trouble, and Zotek at the front of the pack, flying calmly and cleanly up to the hyperdrive at the top of the room. A nice transition, dodging all the guide wires into that second hyperdrive, and he's through the top of the mountain. Now he's about to get some action from Wookie, though. Lil Silly's on him, too. Here comes Radioactive finally joining us at the top of the room as well. Meantime, Zotek moves on to reactor number two, circling around and looking real smooth compared to the pilots on the field right now. Zotek through the reactor into the mountain. Does Radio not go for the joker lap on lap number one, but cruises left. through the mountain. Now he's about to finish up that slalom, and he is getting action. Wookie's right there with him. Now Wookie one turn behind him as he goes up the lock tower. Wookie enters in the bottom. Going to put pressure on him. Remember, Wookie's got about left. a lap and a quarter to catch him. Let's bring across Zotek. Bails Zotek out before he can. Did he make it through? He did. He got left. through the start finish Isu and look, already way up at the top of the room. Isu Had a little bit of skipping video there that this that uh, distracted me, but Wookie now falling behind a little bit as Zotek makes his way through the mountain into reactor number one. And uh, those two are alone at the front. So if things stay the way they are, appears that Zotek in first Radio place, watch him go for that joker lab, has to pause, regather, and turn Radio back for reactor number three after getting out of there. Wookie with some sort of reset, having trouble now, no longer in second place. Or is he? Can't quite see a little Zotek silly, so looks like maybe he is. Zotek stumbling across the line, trying to find that crash gate. Nope, he's going for lap number three because that's how many laps we're racing. Yes, <laughs> pro and elite class are three Radio laps, unlike our enthusiasts and advanced. Yeah, they did two laps, lap so I kind of got that in my mind result. for a second, thinking that Zotek would hook over towards that uh, crash gate, but nope, he's, hit, he's hitting that mountain for lap number three, now in reactor number one and working his way down. Hard to tell what's happening behind. I believe that Wookie has fallen behind Lil Silly. Lil Silly now finishing Isu up lap number two in second place. Lil Silly done with a three lap 221.2 result. Crossing over with a false read. Lil Silly is not done, but currently in second place, chasing down Zotek, now negotiating the lock tower for the final time. Wookie FPV Snooky do 130.8 final on to his lap. Final FPV lap. Snooky do done with a two lap two. Here comes Zotek put, making it official in the crash radio gate with an easy win there. Right, and it looks like Radioactive is going to be coming around for the second. Nice, Radioactive going through that Joker result. lab now exiting the mountain and headed for the lock tower. And what have we got? All right, Lil Silly at the top of the room. Wookie going through those. Um, all reactor are gates and radioactive bringing it across there he is in second place for heat number one Zotek in first radioactive in second and it appears we'll go Wookie and Lil Silly but both of them will be moving into the constellation bracket that'll be race number five we'll see Zotek and radioactive once again in the winner's bracket race number six gotta give a Congratulations to my Weeb Lead Series teammate, Radioactive. Let's go. Oh, I thought you were going to say Zotek. I was no, like, he, Weeb Lead teammate? He's on the team Weeb Lead. That's what I was throwing me off. Oh, yeah, no, Weeb Lead, the Weeb Lead Series. Yeah, Radioactive that's the and I are word, on isn't it? the Mandelbrats team. All right, well, let's see if they've got the next group of pilots ready to go. But yes, definitely have to give a shout out to my sponsor. Goes out the tech. race is completed. <laughs> he won. <laughs> All right, so I see Dave out there. I see movement. All right. He's tossing a quad to Rodney. 
Hit Mom Horny Corn to Bits and Benny Blanco coming up now. So they're just now calling them up. And that means in a minute they'll start their practice lap and then we'll get the heat underway. All right, so they did let all the pilots know who, if they're on deck to be ready for the next heat. Great sign. Here's our double elimination bracket, ladies and gentlemen. We just watched Lil Silly, Zotec, Wookie FPV, and Radioactive finish up match number one on the upper left of your screen. We're going to work, work our way through matches two, three, and four, and that'll sort all the pilots into matches six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll send four of them down to the consolation bracket, matches five and seven. Send two, excuse me, send the other eight. So we'll send eight down to the consolation bracket, send the other eight to matches six and eight in the winner's bracket so I kind of consider that round two in a double elimination bracket first we sort them then we bang out matches five six seven and eight and at that point we've already determined our winner's bracket semifinals and two of those pilots go all the way to the finals and all we do after that work our way up that consolation bracket and see if we can bring some of those early third place and fourth place pilots all the way to finals can it be done? I did it once. I went out in my first race in the Tiny Whip Invitational 2017 and wound up getting fourth. Very, I didn't quite get to the leaderboard, nice. but I made it to finals from my first elimination in the Invitational. So I felt great about that. Yeah. It was like as soon as I lost my first race, my pressure was gone. I was hosting the race, you know, I was also managing the venue. And uh, all the uh, we had a bunch of performances coming in too, so there was a lot of complications going on like that. But after I lost that first race, it was just no problem for me to chill, and I kind of let my nerves go and ran it all the way to fourth place. Then I got my nerves back. Then I lost by a million miles. <laughs> nerves are definitely what got to me today. I was sitting there. I mean, I could literally like feel my shoulders shaking. I was shaking yeah. so much while I was flying. That is one thing I definitely need to work on. But how do you work on it? All, yeah. you, got, all you can do is go to events. Right. Let's go Zotek. Get you some El Capitan, says AK. Right. <laughs> Hopefully watching from the Whoop House. Well, he's standing there, flying packs, racing tracks, getting prepared for elite class. Will he hold his title this year? Will he? Hmm. So, after yesterday's qualifying, were we capable of figuring out what... Oops, I will wait on that question. Oh, no, they're not about to start. Go oh, ahead. no. Okay, I was going to say, have we figured out our acro angle ratio yet? Oh, no. I think there's maybe five, six pilots in acro and maybe 55 to 59 pilots in angle. And every time you ask about it, everybody keeps coming up to me like, everybody's flying acro. <laughs> no, they're not. not. <laughs> anybody flying acro on this course is doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not an acro-friendly course in any way, shape, or form. Hey, look, we're going. So remember, guys, this is just a practice round. There they go. We're going to give them one lap and see how many of them land after a lap this time. Wow, lots of action happening. I saw a midair, but of course we don't need to call it back on a practice round. Wow, Hornicorn taking a massive dive from the top of the room. Benny Blanco is struggling. It Mom coming out of the pits with a couple of hardcore bobbles. And DeBits in the front working his way into the second reactor. Getting a little bit of lag on the video, guys. Thanks for bearing with us on that. Through the mountain for DeBits, and he's into the, um, well, he was into the slalom, but got knocked all the way down to the lava pit. That's what we're calling the carpet at the bottom of the mountain. Benny Blanco is starting to catch up. And look, Hornicorn going for that early joker lap already, already through reactor number two. And uh, looking pretty solid. Now he's taking on DeBits in the clock tower. Ooh, knocked out. So DeBits still in first place getting ready to round out lap the number one. There's DeBits. He's going to park it there for a sec, then pull back out. Hornicorn also setting it down. But look, it Mom and it's Benny Blanco now on the clock tower. What is DeBits doing over there? Not I practice. Okay. 
I mean, that, no, he just didn't go to the he just didn't go to the the uh, the, 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 the crash, crash gate. gate. That's right. That's I didn't all finish threw me my out. statement. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. We're gonna send up heat number two as soon as they can find another battery. So Edoc says, "Congratulations, Skittles, on the silicon dioxide sack win." And then Skittles says he doesn't get it. I also don't get it. <laughs> Think you've confused us all, Edoc. I hear them saying, this is for real. Right? All right. Pilots are getting ready for their actual heat. Top two moving on into the winner's bracket. Bottom two going down into our consolation bracket. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry? Silicone dioxide is sand. Okay. So remember he was calling himself sandbagger? Oh. <laughs> Way over my head. <laughs> Shout out in the chat if you got that without without needing a childlike explanation. Well, I feel like at least Sko definitely got it right from Jump Street with that at EDOC laughy faces. Sko, did you get that? <laughs> All right, it's official. This is real Heat 2. Make no mistake, these pilots are... Oh, it's a false start. Sorry, this is not real. I started to say this is real. It's a false start. I'm guessing these pilots want new packs. So we'll just stand by. So yes, if you get one false start for a run, and that only occurs if there is a mid-air before going through the start-finish gate. Which there was. So this time around, mid-air or no mid-air, we're not restarting. That means that if you want to shake and bake somebody, this is your opportunity in this event to give someone a little tip on their wing, send them spinning out, take the advantage and roll with it. They're not going to stop you this time. But I don't expect to see that actually happen in this event. I always daydream maybe somebody's actually going to go for the shake and bake, or in this case, the double shake and bake, where you got to do go, you got to go for a collision before the start gate, worthy of a complaint, then go for the collision before the start gate that actually knocks out your competition. That's what I'm going to call the double shake and bake. Ooh. Another pusher prop on the far corner there. So regardless what happens. We're running this one through. Regardless of what happens. Oh, he turtles on the block. Oh my wow. gosh. The turtling instincts of a cat. <laughs> of a turtle. Right? Midair. Two midairs. Top of the room. Oh my gosh. More action at the top of the room. De Bits, Hornicorn, both up there. Benny Blanco is trying to find that second hyperdrive. There he found it. Now towards the mountain, he's going to fight Hornicorn. Right there as they go through the silhouette together. I'm watching him hit reactor number one side by side. Something's got to space him out. And there, finally, a slight bobble by Benny Blanco gives it to Hornicorn. Benny Blanco takes it back in first place now. It Mom also in the mix, working his way through reactor number two. Benny Blanco on his lid. Hornicorn back up in a number one position and working his way through that double slalom at the top of the far side mountain. Now to the clock tower with Hornicorn. And he's got company. Benny Blanco is back in action. Benny Blanco flying a little bit faster, but making a lot of mistakes. Horny There's the pass. The nope, Horny Corn across. Benny Blanco across a second left. or two later. Yo -yo, a big Benny error Blanco, sends Benny Blanco flat, flying, and Horny Corn starts to extend it's that lead at the top of the room. Halfway through lap number left. two, that's halfway through this heat. So plenty of time for Benny Blanco to make it back. Debit's crossing over onto lap number two. Idmom currently third place. And the reactor is on lap number two. And it looks like we've got Hornicorn doing that Joker lap, but having some trouble in reactor number three. Benny Blanco considers going down that Joker lap, and we're going to send that one to the judges to see if he had... That wasn't an attempt. No, not even close. Benny Blanco now trying to catch Hornicorn, Hornicorn who took a joker lap a little bit early and now Benny Blanco is at a bit of a disadvantage it's working his way with DeBits now it's in lap number two so DeBits and Benny Blanco side by side in places two and three remember in a double elimination bracket you want to be in second place you don't want to be in third place so 
It's to Bits versus Benny Blanco, but look, Benny Blanco is still struggling on that clock tower, falling farther and farther back. Hornycorn on reactor number two, to Bits on reactor number one, just behind him. So it's looking like Hornycorn first place, to Bits second place. Benny Blanco accidentally stumbles into the crash gate there. And uh, it mom heading through the mountain as well. So looking like Horny Corn and DeBits side by side on the lock tower. Who's going to get Horny across the line the first? Horny Corn, corn gets across, heads for the Horny crash gate. He's going to make it official with the first place in front of DeBits making it official. Way to go, Mike Chen getting into the crash gate in second place and keeping it alive in the winner's bracket. We're going to send Benny Blanco and It Mom to the consolation bracket for their second lives. It's Pretty sweet race. I thought that was fun, result. you know. It was controlled and it felt like smooth and consistent. Not a whole lot of major errors after they got that first lap out of the way. But um, also a lot of lane changes. People get farther away. People sometimes get back together. That's my kind of race. And it's going to bring us into race number three. We're halfway done with the preliminary round in the Pro Class Finals. on the back of I think that was Bella Chow just parked on his somebody go back in the stream and clip that he just parked on the back of I think Bella Chow and just rode there for a second so this is just a practice yeah Selenia chilling alongside um, Dio GTS oh Bella Chow's there too lots of action happening and we're getting a little bit of video rubber banding but uh, yeah, we'll let these guys finish up practice round number one. Say, Selenia is one of our acro pilots here. Quite interesting that he decided to continue with the acro on this course. D to the Y to the O to the GTS DYO 49.32 <laughs> laps left. Dio Bell crosses Chow's over you first. 53.12 laps left. Solon, so hopefully, like Sylvania, I'm seeing some. We are back left. in the feed, so I hope you can hear us 100% clear. Hey guys, how's my voice? 
Mm -hmm. Just kidding. You already answered. Right. Thanks for the status updates from our pals in the chat. The People hang, hanging out with us all day. We're here left. in the Pro Class Finals, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining, check out that lap landing by my man, Tram Kang. I love that guy. One of my favorite local pilots, and he's been a part of the Full Send Posse for a long time. Bella Chow also with the table landing. Goggles up for the selfie. What up, dude? You landed in your glasses. Did you see <laughs> that? We were looking through the lenses of his glasses. Somebody just stepped on a dog, and I just... Or maybe it was something... Maybe or maybe not. Maybe it was a different kind of sound. Right. I'm like, I heard a yelp, though. We heard the yelp. And I'm also hearing some sorries. That was race four, guys. We're done with um, the preliminary round. We're done with practice rounds. We're ready to head down the... Um, down the double elimination bracket we're going to start off with race number five this will be your your nope, third that was our place practice round. oh you're right that was our practice yep, round. so we're Thank finishing so up much our seating oh anyway. that was a close one <laughs> i almost really embarrassed myself <laughs> so we're going to be finishing up our seating into the winner's bracket and the consolation bracket here top two moving up bottom two what are your predictions down. for this one liz Normally, being that Selenia is a hometown pilot for myself, yeah, I would give him. Yeah, he's a local for you. I would give him major props. He and Skittles are constantly battling it out. But as I have previously mentioned, he is flying acro on this course and has been having a lot of issues with not being able to make it through the course cleanly. So yeah, it's funny because you know, even though I, uh, you know, disagree. Oh, I would, I'm not. I don't disagree with anybody. I probably wouldn't be the kind of pilot that would fly acro on this course. I also believe this event will be won by an acro pilot. Yeah. Very likely, because the pilots at the top are the acro pilots right now. They are. Well, we've got all four pilots flying around right now in this final heat, the final preliminary heat. We've got Dio GTS, Trim King, Selenia and Bella Chow in the air. We're working on getting their FPV feeds on screen. You might watch this one line of sight. We can see them going into the top of the mountain there in that whoop window. From there, they're gonna be behind that mountain going through those two reactors. And we're gonna see them coming in the, uh, there he is, coming in the bottom right there. And now doing first place, currently doing the slalom at the top of the mountain there, getting ready to curl out, head for the lock tower. That'll round out lap number one and we'll be able to see your finishing order for the first lap in this three-lap race, Heat 4 in the uh, Pro Class Double Elimination Bracket. Dio GTS across at the 48.4 seconds lap, four seconds ahead of Trim King. Currently in second place ahead of Selenia by five seconds, so about nine seconds separating first place from third place. The battle, of course, is to get in that second place position currently held by Trim King, and Selenia's got to make up a solid five seconds. That could be done if he works this um, Joker lap just right. And again, I know you guys wish we could show you the, the DVR, but we're working on fixing that rubber banding issue right now. So let's see what we can glean from this wide line of sight shot and D the, the, uh, the, the GTS, of course, the timing software. Dio GTS just crossed over. He got another lap, cut 10 it's seconds off that one, like started Sylvania with a 48, followed lap. up with a 38 second lap. And look, Selenia did the same thing, moved into second place with a 36 second lap, passing Trim King. Bella Chow now in fourth place. Let's see if we can bring him around. Trim Someone's coming in. It's Trim. Trim bringing lap. in a longer lap, 54 now. So he's got some major ground to make up, but I'm guessing Selenia pulled a joker lap on lap Bella number Chow, two. Later, There's Bella Chow crossing over. 46 lap. isn't bad either, but he's got a lot of ground to make up, especially if Dio indeed has a joker lap remaining. Hard to tell. We look down at the bottom of that screen right there. Right. That's the that's the roof of reactor number three. There's Dio getting across. He parks it in the crash gate. First place, Selenia getting across also and heads into the crash gate as well. So we got Dio GTS from Team Deadlock bringing in a first place for his team. Selenia, a.k.a. Pickle Rick, a.k.a. my man Lonnie from the Northwest, drops a deuce on heat number four. We're going to see Trim King and Bella Chow moving down to Trim King number seven. That's how I always say that number. They were like, Jesse, can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All pilots are finished. The race is completed. The race is completed, ladies and gentlemen. 
preliminary round is over, and it's time to bang out the final races of the pro class. Working our way towards that Chase the Ace finale. So joining Leadfingers and Icy in seven, we have Trim King and Bella Chow. Yo, silly. Yo, silly. Hey, silly. How's it going? I haven't gotten to talk to you yet this year. I wanted to give you some stickers. Remember when you were the sticker ninja? How are you feeling about sticker ninja? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one sheet. Remember the technique. Just barely touch the corner and then just walk up to someone and do that. Super light. My other favorite one is to put them upside down on chairs. It's good to see you, dude. Congrats on making pro class. <laughs> silly, little silly right there. Uh, last year was my stick and ninja. I don't know how much of that interaction they could hear. Could they hear that? Uh, I think they could catch a little they bit of it. They could probably catch some of the stuff I was saying. I was the only one that talked that entire time. The only <laughs> thing he said at the very end was, yeah. And then he walked away with the stickers. Your typical, like, nine-year-old kid. Just yeah, he's just a cool <laughs> kid. Well, remember last year, he was like, first I watched him rail the course, and I didn't realize it was him. And then all of a sudden, like, I always play with kids, you right. know? So when I saw a kid, I went up to him, I made him some balloons or gave him some candy actually. And then I made him some balloons and we became friends. And he's like a little enough kid, like it wouldn't be weird for him to sit on your knee. Yeah. You know, like most drone racing pilots that are here, you can just like have him sit on your knee like a little, but you know, he, obviously he's bigger now and yeah. I'm not trying, you know. But no. He's a big kid. He's, he's but he's a kid, but he's, he's a big a kid. kid, you know. No, he's like he could be in one of my classes. Like I teach fourth graders, fourth and sixth grade. That's that age range. And it's crazy. Anytime I come to one of these races and I think of the little sillies, the brads, yeah, the grants, exactly. the greats. I know. I look at my students and I'm like, man. It could be you. It could be you. It could be you. <laughs> I'm very tempted to just have all my students constantly flying drones. <laughs> you know, uh, I um feel like I have started to notice once or twice when you get out your teacher voice. Yeah. I feel like there's very rare times when I'm like, oh, maybe that's maybe that's Liz's teacher voice a little bit. Because it was there was like I can't even remember what you were talking about. Something instructive, mm -hmm. and like you were doing something instructional, and you kind of went into this cadence that made a lot of sense. <laughs> I bet you're a really cool teacher. I mean, I you're the be. blue like she's the blue hair teacher, right? I, I try to be. I think. I work really hard on trying to be the teacher that I wish that I had growing up. I know. Well, I had a couple of inspiring good ones, you know. Yeah. One but of my favorites also had, sixth grade. Oh, yeah? Oh, Me yeah. too. I had a good one for sixth grade. But, you know, everybody also has those teachers where you look back and you're like, how was that adult in charge of children? Yeah. You know, and sometimes you're, you're like, okay, I was a kid. I can't remember that clearly. But sometimes you look back and you're like, no, I remember that right. That person never should have been working with children, you know. And sometimes I'm more inspired by those guys. Right, that they still do it every day. <laughs> yeah, then I am more inspired to like not do that. I'm saying not inspired to be like that. People yeah. at home, don't clip that. Weird. <laughs> All, All right. right, let's send up the let's send up the uh, consolation bracket. Wookie, mm. Lil Silly, Benny Blanco, and Hornycorn. These guys lost out on their first race but it's all about second chances in the double elimination bracket we've got our dvr back wookie just missed a gate on that tunnel and uh, i'm wondering if i'm gonna have to call him out i just hate being in that position right and i just saw him go underneath it too so yep unfortunately we both have to call him out on that one i'm gonna put it on you all right benny blanco flying like a maniac and look at him on reactor number two Getting chased down by Wookie, who once again missed that gate. Hornycorn in third place, and he's working his way through. No, he's not. No, he is not in third. He's in fourth. And look, who's in first? None other than Lil Silly, the guy we were just talking to. <laughs> he's got a, pa a fat pack of stickers he's and a lot of ambition. Silly, Flies in a frenzy. Laps left. Let's w let's bring him around to lap number two. There's the wall ride, heading to the top of the room. Yo, yo, it's Benny it's Blanco, clean air up there. He's left. gonna get a little bit of attention Hornicorn now. Benny Blanco on, on lap number two. Hornycorn on lap number left. two, barely. And Wookie FPV getting done with that uh, clock FPV tower at the back of the room now on his final lap as Lil Silly gets out he of reactor number two. Lap. Well, now he's getting out of it. Heading for the mountain does not go for his Joker lap once again. 
taps the back of the inside of the mountain every time he goes. Look how wide he's taking that. Just all power and speed for Lil Silly. Feeling on his game at this point, too. And, and to be honest, a fairly consistent two laps right. for him. Rounding it out, Phil, we're going to bring Lil Silly along to his final lap. Do you know that bell tone? Wait, he doesn't know because, nope, don't go in there yet. I'm pretty sure you've got another lap. No, it just said done with his three lap. It said done. Did I miss? Did I miscount that? We're going to have the judges check that. I'm just going to say this is a potential re-race after looking at the lap times. We know he didn't get. We know he didn't get a 23 second lap or a 21 second lap, but he went ahead and parked after two, and that is a little bit of a timing issue that could easily lead to a re-race. So far, it doesn't seem like anybody's noticed. I'm still watching. Wookie. Corny corn is the cream of the and, corn uh, of the corn. One I think I'm just going to have a chat with the judges really quick and fill them in on everything that just happened. Yep. All right, so we've got Wookie coming around to finish up their last lap, hitting the Joker lap right there, going through reactor number three for the bottom of the mountain onto Clock Tower. Working his way up. Immelman through the top, 180 around through the tank. Ooh, Wookie we got a little FPV bobble there. Wookie FPV Snooki do 47.5. Wookie FPV Snooki do done with a three lap 245.8 right. result. Working on some crash flip here. I think he's stuck in the corner. Gonna need to do a little yaw to get out of there. We got a re-race coming on. Yep. They were aware, of course, our officials here knew everything that was going on and unfortunately got to pull a re-race. Lil Silly did the right thing, you know. He was heading on to his final lap and in a strong first place. That's why, I mean, I understand he's the one that sat down early, but he was told to by the computer system and I probably would have done the same, especially if I was a nine-year-old at an adult race. If I heard him say, Lil Silly yo, yo done, I'd put it in the crash gate. You yeah, know, I like, oh crap, what am I doing? I wouldn't question that. So Lil Silly was in a distant first result. place, but set down a lap early after the timing system let him know that he had finished too. We had a misread halfway through that lap, and of course, misreads happen on every timing system. Right. And you Very could, seldom on this one, by the way. And you could tell his confusion because he was like, "No, lap three. Wait, what's going on?" Yeah, he was like, <laughs> "Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right." And then somebody was like, "Get in the crash gate!" You know, <laughs> somebody was over his shoulder, and he spiked it right into the crash gate. To be honest, he had a really nice run, and it's a shame uh, that he doesn't get to keep it. But if he's the pilot, I think he is. He won't have a problem getting it back in a rerun. This is our first race in the consul or in the consolation bracket, so it's a fight to stay alive, and we want it all to go down just right. Um, round of applause. Maybe that was for a raffle drawing. <laughs> the race is completed. Yeah. I missed that one. All right, so Benny Blanco, Little Silly, Wookie FPV, and Hornycorn will be rerunning that yet. heat. Which will then, after that, will take us into match six, which will be our first match of the winner's bracket between Zotek, Radioactive, DeBits, and Itmom. And if you've been following along, make sure that you are making your Hydra picks. As much as I've been on top of reminding you guys to make yours, I have been slacking on making mine. So, what do I want to choose for this? Little Silly, Wookie FPV, Benny Blanco, and Horny Horn. And if it's going to be any indicator of what happened before, I'm going Little Silly, Benny Blanco, Horny Corn, and then Wookie. Let's see if I win some points here. Well, shout out to our professional judges making the right decision once again, like they did all day yesterday. Going to do a re race for this one. 
or are we? Hold on. They're leaving those results for match five. Um, I didn't quite get to check out that bracket. Let's see what the official decision was. Looks like they've decided to move on to race number six. And I'm wondering what, in, what two pilots got knocked out on that confusion in race number five. Two of them uh, are now eliminated. Maybe they're going to rerun it after. What do you see there? Can you do this? So I'm showing match number five still says ready yep. on this one. They didn't seed it because match five would go into match nine. Cool. All right. Well, let's just be patient and shout out all of our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the bottom of your screen. That's our silver level sponsorship. Emacs USA. Tattoo, Fractal Engineering, what up, ye ye Eves? Yep, Eves. Eves. Spelled Y-V-E-S. My High Audio Video, that's my friend Icy, and of course, Dr. Ride is our friend Joe, AKA Dr. Ride. All right, and our gold level sponsors, we've got Happy Model, Gem Fan, and Vifly. On the diamond level, Beta FPV, Newbie Drone, and Tiny Whoop. All right, and our platinum level sponsors, We Bleed FPV and Orca. And last but not least, don't forget, Perspective Image, who brings us this absolutely wonderful stream and makes Jesse and I look so great. We thank you. I mean, don't you guys think we looking so mm -hmm. good? Looking at our uh, chat and checking in with the timing system, still showing that Lil Silly and uh, Wookie were in third and fourth. Obviously Wookie, so maybe they're faulting Lil Silly for landing after the computer told him to land. That would be a rough end of his Whoop Wars career. Right. Our youngest pilot in the pro class finals. Props off once again, smash the like button, didn't hurt at all. Oh, you may have read that a moment ago. Right. I'm so distracted thinking about how this is unfolding. But I do trust the officials. I mean, Dave is Dave. He is a just leader. I just think I probably would have done the exact same thing if I was a nine year old at this event. But we trust Dave. He talked to Silly. He talked to the competitors. He talked to the judges. He made a decision. We're going to stand behind it. And we're going into race number six. Zotec Radioactive Debits and It Mom. Who's who there? I'm thinking Radioactive usually has lights, but I bet he's that close on a beautiful canopy. I'm thinking that second the maybe the blue one but probably the third one is Zotec who's rocking that old beta pro frame in the back <laughs> those are hard to come by oh that's gotta be uh, radioactive all right so they're off and headed across the course first one to get through the whole shot look at that clean DVR we got for you guys ladies and gentlemen top of the room it mom made it through the second hyperdrive first just kidding it was the bits the bits is in the lead he just got past though it mom currently in first place made his way into reactor number two but got passed right as he was entering by the bits in first place it mom trying to chase down the bits getting past also radioactive in the mix the bits now at the mountain going through that double gate slalom and now starting to get some attention from it mom Curling around and making the pass. It Mom's the first one to get into the lock tower, climbing up from the bottom, getting some attention from DeBits. They're still riding tip to tip. We've also got a battle between Radioactive and Zotek as DeBits crosses over onto lap left. number two. It's and gates mom. passed by It it's Mom, headed up to the top of the room in first left. place, starting at lap Zotek number two. It Mom, a bobble, and look, DeBits back out in front. They're going to keep trading places for laps, you guys. DeBits now in reactor number one. A beautiful split S curling around to reactor number two. It mom also working his way, working his way. I keep, because it's mom, I want to say er, her. It mom coming out of reactor number two right now, just as the bits starts working his way through the mouth of the mountain into the back of the lock tower. Two laps finishing up for the bits and still no joker laps from anybody on the course. Let's see if we can get one next lap from the bits. I, I'm going to say that's my prediction right now. Not sure if radioactive just lap. went for it. I looked away it's for a minute. 
IT, it's mom, it mom now at the, <laughs> it's not IT mom, it's his name. It's it mom it now trying 40, to creep up the bits though, flying lap. cleanly, knowing Zotec that he's got to keep it nice and smooth to keep it alive. A fair split S down reactor number one. And uh, it mom, we're gonna try to catch up, but the bits pulling away farther and farther, going for the Joker. Beautifully timed Joker by the bits. I really appreciate that hesitation to the last second before zipping through, now climbing up the lock tower. This is the end of lap number three for DeBits. He's got one more gate and one more turn. DeBits Let's bring him to that finish gate, sets it down, takes first place, and now I'm looking back at Itmom, currently in, in second place and getting attention from Radioactive. One gate for Itmom. Radioactive getting ready to make the pass right here. There it is. Radioactive now Radioactive on a sprint for the finish line. Got in front. Oh, no. Missed it. Turning back. Finally gets into that Ooh. crash gate. Close call by Radioactive. Makes it just seconds in front of Itmom, who held first and second place the majority of that heat. And also, a beautiful run by Zotek, bringing in fourth place with smooth flight. Needs to make it to that crash gate. Doesn't even go there. Doesn't even go to the crash gate. <laughs> so we've got DeBits and Radioactive moving on. Itmom and Zotek dropping down to our Constellation bracket. They still have a chance to make their way into the finals. Well, all right. The race is completed. Not sure what went wrong there for my man Zotek. Would have expected him up near the top. Respect for that flight either way. That was match number six. We're going to take a look back down in the elimination consolation bracket. Look at match number seven. Lower left of your screen, it's Leadfingers, Icy, Trim King, and Bella Chow. This is their last fight to stay alive in the pro class. Two of them are going to move on eventually to match 10 from seven. But first, let's get through this first round. This is the second elimination, or excuse me, the second elimination race and the last chance for these four pilots to get to that one spot or that two spot. After this race, we'll scoot back up to match eight with some more of our winners and see if Chromium, Sheesh, Dio GTS, or Selenia can keep that winning streak alive into the semifinals of the winner's bracket and fight DeBits and Radioactive for a slot in the finals. I feel like I'm finally understanding, you know, double elimination brackets actually come in all shapes and sizes. They do. And I got my first one from MultiGP uh, in 2016, and I adopted it for the uh, Invitational Race, and we, we did all that all that by hand. You know, we had timing system, but we did it all by hand. We had another double elimination bracket, of course, we brought in for the uh, Inv Invitational 2018. And then when I got into the sim and developing a double elimination in the sim, that's when I really needed to understand it. <laughs> you know, I need to know what a double elimination bracket is front and back, because they are different. People seed them differently, People treat uh, ties or um, not ties, but point different point ties differently. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We got we got to pay attention. <laughs> We're sending him up. Here we are. Ooh, a funny launch for somebody as we fight to stay alive. Trim King with some contact with Bella Chow. Nobody's calling it back. Trim King, top of the room in first place position. Icy was in second. I lost video. I'm pretty sure he still got it. Leadfingers may be in second. If not, he's in third. Trim King struggling right there to get through, and he has lost his first place. I don't know where Icy is, but it looks like he's down in a dark spot. Look at that. He's like in... I see tape. I see... Oh, my gosh. So it's Trim King versus Leadfingers for first place. No, it's not. Bella Chow's in first. He's already headed to the mountain. Trim King and Leadfingers battling for second now, which is, of course, all that matters. Bella Chow doing that double, um, excuse me, slalom headed towards the lock tower. And he's got company from Trim King, who's flying fast. Look at Trim King trying to catch up to Bella Chow. These are two local pilots. They fly together Bella often. And it looks like he got a little bit left. off there. And Bella Chow now extending his lead in first lead place to the top of the room. Hyperdrive number one and lap number Trim two going straight to Bella Chow. And he's already left. back going down that mountain into the reactors. Leadfingers on him too. Look at Trim King right behind Leadfingers now as Icy gets ready to round out lap number one, was able to get out of that incredible trap. I wish I could have seen that. Scrub back see later. Bella Chow hits the Joker lap. Left. A clean reactor number three, and look at Bella Chow just extended his lead by a ton. A very nice strategic use of the Joker lap, bringing it around in front of Bella Leadfingers. He's got one more left. lap to go. 
riding that wall ride. Fingers Look, there's Bella Chow cross, or excuse me, left fingers lap. crossing over behind him. You can see Trim King's also on that lock tower and trying to get across the line. Trim He's got to get in front of lead fingers now final lap. to keep it alive to stay in this event, in this tournament. So he's starting to fly sloppy and now Trim King with a major error at the top of the room tumbles all the way to the floor. So I'm looking at Bella Chow, not doing the Joker lap because he did it in lap two, I'm just reminding myself. Curling around, but look, Leadfingers, his main competition is in the Joker lap, stuck on that sit and spin and may have voided his advantage. Look at that, now he'll meet Bella Chow Racing for first on the lock tower. Bella Chow's too far ahead, too fast. He's through the start finish gate and headed for the crash gate, making it official. And there's Leadfingers locking down second place, keeping it alive. And man, what a ride for Trim King. Unfortunate play of events for Icy, who had that incredibly rough start. You know, sometimes freak accidents happen, and for Icy, it just happened at the worst possible time. Trim King. Look at that face to face with lead fingers in the crash gate saying what's up. Trim King had a had a nice run too. Look, now they're gonna sumo. They're fighting in the in the crash gate. Second place and third place still duking it out. Trim King had a great run there and at some point at some point in that lat or excuse me, in that heat, was looking extremely strong. You know, flying confident, accurate, hitting the middle of every gate, and I was thinking we were gonna watch him make an epic comeback. But a few errors set him back, and he couldn't get out of third Icy place. Cold, done with a three lap, three seven There's results. Icy crossing over, All bouncing everyone around in the crash gate. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your second consolation bracket heat is in the books. And we're going to head back to our completed. final four pilots. These next pilots have won every race they've been in. We're back in the, in the winner's bracket. And the, this race is going to determine who goes on to, I believe, the semifinals in the winner's bracket already. So finals sneaking up on us, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. I always want to know what the applause is for. Right? You know, I'm, I'm in this headset world with Liz. <laughs> and we're over here, and I'm like trying to look at brackets. Better clap. Yeah, we don't Trim, know what this is about. Yeah, but I see. Trim oh. King. And, and I see he's <laughs> the honorary <laughs> champ because he's been hard at work behind this desk. And I'm, I'm only here for a couple hours, and it's freaking hard. <laughs> yeah, shout out for Icy, too. Icy just got eliminated after that really hard run. Right, but he has we been doing an Chromium amazing Sheesh job Dio running Selenia. the live time, doing some ch tech check, getting everything going. Thanks, Icy. Oh, yeah, he's a man. Chromium Sheesh, Dio GTS. See him back there right and now, back behind the desk. There he is, yeah. Dio, he's got the deadlock, deadlock shirt. There's Chromium up front, your pro class champion from last year, trying to get it for two years in a row. He's about to take down Sheesh, Dio, DTS, and Selenia if he can here in the winner's bracket. He looks calm. He looks confident. He looks upbeat, happy. Have you ever seen this guy not upbeat? No, I don't think I have. Does he get mad? <laughs> we should ask the locals. David, right. I think he looks like... You know, just always have. Yeah, he looks like the kind of person that's like the glass is half full, not half empty. You know. I love that vibe. <laughs> that's how I try to live my life. I feel half full is a much better way to go about life. Life lessons with Liz Sagano here in the Perspective Image YouTube <laughs> channel, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to take that advice to heart. All right, we're getting plugged up. Oh, for sweet. Sticker eight. bomb for Street League. Hey, I want a Street League sticker. <laughs> right? Whoa. Who'd that be? Who'd that be? Um, Leadfingers, J Rice. I need that Street League sticky, sticky sticker. Oh, I'll get one in a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Got my bag. <laughs> OMG. Noel shouting out, I see with a couple of hearts in there. Welcome to the winner's bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Did we have contact? There's a potential re race. We're bringing it back. This is a false start. This is a false start. And maybe while they're setting it up, Greg, can we take a quick look at the bracket just quickly so I can get my bearings? All right, here we go. 
we're chilling out in match number eight. So this is our second major race in the winner's bracket. Oh my gosh, look at those Street League stickers. My man, thank you so much. I will support them at Tiny Oped Headquarters with pride. So again, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at match 11. Debits and Radioactive have already got a spot in the semifinals, and the winners of that race are going to the finals. They're gonna meet some people from the consolation bracket later. But we're gonna bring two people from match eight up to 11 to see who they're gonna challenge for the finals. That's how close we are to the final race. So thanks for that glance, mostly for my own reference, Greg. <laughs> but uh, I can see Hornycorn strutting along underneath there and getting ready to launch them for this re-race. And remember, if we have contacts before the start finish gate now, there are no re-races. It's time to shake and bake the finals of Whoop Wars 2022. Right. I would probably go for it. If I had a threat and I was next to him on the block and I heard the bell go, just maybe bell. just a little <laughs> shoulder tap, you know, just a little something to throw him off their game. If anything, make him mad, make him fly on tilt. <laughs> right? Say, I like the birds idea. Birds has took a headlight, but turned it into a taillight. Yeah. So that if you're behind him, you might get a little blinded, friends. I know. You could do a lot more than that. I mean, those headlights are unbelievably light. You could stack them back there and birds to the extreme. Oof. And uh, yeah, that that would, I mean, if you get close, we saw, who was it riding on Bella Chow a couple yeah, rounds ago in practice? Trim. He like parked on there and rode him down the course, like down this uh, world record tunnel, the spiral tunnel. Oh, he was yeah. just cruising, parked on his ducks, you know, those motors must have been firing all to the max. I know, all of a sudden I just see this like full drone in the screen, I was like, what is happening? And they were riding, they weren't just crashing. No, they were It wasn't like a crash, they were, they were somehow making it work. Maybe there's a sport in there, maybe there's some sort of like synchronized dance we could develop, I, I don't know. Alright, let's bring it back up. These guys just had a rough start, a false start. And this one's for real, no matter what goes down. So I'm not even going to... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was not contact. That was just Sheesh cutting real wide. Selenia at the top of the room, chasing down first place. Oh, uh, well, making a pass. Things got real messy there. Dio had it for a second. Now Selenia's in first. Now Selenia's pass. Chromium in first place now. And a hardcore oh. face plant midair mid between Selenia and Dio GTS. Look, Dio's back on it already in reactor number two. Sheesh down. Sheesh trying to cat crash fit, but looking like Sheesh might not actually be upside down. Check out this lap number one joker for Dio extending the lead. He's already climbing the clock tower. And uh, yeah, Selenia not too far behind, but Dio's gonna make a loud statement. Crossing over in first place, way ahead of Selenia. Now Selenia on tilt, crashes, looking for that crash flip. Chromium is in, is in second place, now meeting Dio GTS at the top of the room. They head down through the mountain, and it looks like reactor number one is Dio GTS right away. Now Chromium shares that course feature with him once again. It's a tight race, one and two, Dio GTS and Chromium. Look, they're going around the same feature backwards. Now Dio GTS goes for that slot. I believe Chromium may even have a Joker lap stacked up, saving for lap number three. Now they're going to share the clock tower in the back of the room. And look how fast Chromium's creeping up right now. Chromium to fighting to make that pass. And he's got an entire lap. lap to do it. Dio GTS slips out and there's Chromium's hole. Made it in front of Dio GTS into the first place position. Dio's not out of this. And remember, this is really just a race to stay in position one or two. But look at Dio's screen. He's staring right at... Chromium, oh my gosh, he got way close to Chromium. That was the fastest turtle I've ever seen by Dio GTS, and they're still back on reactor number two together. Chromium does not take the uh, Joker lap, so maybe Chromium did that in lap number one and I just missed it. If not, that was a major mistake on the part of Chromium, although it probably won't end up mattering. Places one and two seem to be Pretty fair shot for Chromium and Dio GTS. A handful of errors. They're neck and neck. They're going to make it close. Dio wants it more. Dio takes it seconds ahead of Chromium. That was an excellent finish. It doesn't matter. These pilots are both moving on. But that's the kind of finish that this crowd wants to see. I mean, they got so hyped. And you could tell at that point, Chromium wanted to tear down Dio and just couldn't quite catch it. There's Chromium in the middle of the screen with a big smile. Feeling pretty good about that performance. Keeping it alive. He just secured his spot in the semifinals of the winner's bracket. And if he wins one more, he's got his spot in the finals. Ooh. Next time 
we get to look at that bracket. We got to check Chromium C to see if we actually do have an Iron Man rule in effect. Was he the top seed in this uh, class? I don't. I would be very surprised if he just happened to wind up. Okay, here we go. Top seed is Dio GTS. Oh. So Dio GTS has a. Dio GTS has he won everything? He Hold won on. First. In match eight. Yep. First in match four, first in match eight. Okay, so Dio GTS has Iron Man in effect, and Chromium wants to tear that down. Chromium just pulled in a deuce, and we'll see him in match 11, so it'll be Chromium, Dio GTS to bits and radioactive in match 11 in just a minute. And if Dio can keep that first place streak alive, he'll enter finals of the pro class with Iron Man in effect. A pretty awesome position to be in here at Whoop Wars 2022 in the pro class. I mean, that's about as much as you can ask for. My name is Jeff in the chat. What's up? Look, this is the this is Jeff right here. Yes, He's, it is. Look, we need, where's the heart glasses? Oh, here he is. This is Jeff. We're chilling out with Jeff. My name is Jeff right here. My name is Jeff. Look, does this even work? Okay. Hey. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Great to see you, bro. I've missed you. I'm so <laughs> glad that you're finally capable of making okay. it. <laughs> yeah, the kisses were a joke. But I do love you. Right. We, we miss you tremendously here at our announcer's table. Jedlock getting loud in the chat, screaming, Hell yeah, Dayo! <laughs> I feel it, too. You know, I'm an, I'm an impartial commentator, but a huge fan of Deadlock. Right. Love the Deadlock Noel saying, amazing Dio off grid. Nice job, guys. Everybody's getting down. Love that. You know, so much support from the community. That's what, you know, last night we saw Trashbiss win that uh, that that head-to-head -head race. Oh, you know, man. We had a bookie out. There was this, there was this, this, uh, this sort of disagreement to settle. There was a tie to settle, and it was Fresh Bread versus um, Trashbiss. Trash and... I'll, I'm gonna put a video out later, but oh, yeah, sp yeah. spoiler, Trashbiss wins. And when Trashbiss won, he stood up, <laughs> did one of these, and there was no man or woman on planet Earth feeling more glory than him when the entire Whoop House oh, screaming God. on their feet, just screaming. Picture me screaming. It was okay? great. We're, again, if you have not- Raw emotion. He's gonna post video yesterday. I'm sure other people have posted video. You can check out my Instagram, look at the stories, and yeah, go to see that. some video. Rip hey, FPB. Jeff gave me a little kiss back at you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Rogers, what up, Jeff? Horny Corn, Benny Blanco, I Team, It Mom and Zotek are fighting to stay alive. Only two of them will. I saw contact. Are they gonna call it in? Bring it back, I just heard it. False start, false start. Hornycorn get that false start, you know. At that point, just hold your breath. He's the MC of this entire event, and if he has a collision, you can guess that uh, we're gonna false start that one. I mean, anybody can call it out, obviously. If there's air-to-air -air contact before the start-finish gate, you've got the ability to make some noise, get yourself that first rerun, but like I said before, only one, and that means if Zotek, Benny Blanco, or It Mom have got a problem with Hornycorn, they can shake and bake him to the floor right now with impunity. Let's see if any one of them tries to pull it off. Not that they would. They're probably all gonna take a dive for him. But they might feel threatened by Zotek. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, now they do. They know Zotek shouldn't be down here in this bracket. They know he's a threat. looks pretty clean. I'm always watching for that legal secondary contact. So far, we haven't seen it. Check out the traffic on board Zotek. He's following, who is that, to the top of the room. It's Hornycorn and It Mom. It Mom's been flying super fast. One of the New York posse as well. Benny Blanco's not going slow either. There's an error for Zotek trying to get out of that mountain into reactor number one. He gets into a little bit of a tangle with Benny Blanco inside the reactor and gets out faster. Benny Blanco can't get up. Zotek shake and bake Benny Blanco in the middle of reactor number one, but now shake and bake himself. That appears to be reactor number two. 
Let's see if he can get out. Yep, now he'll approach the mountain. The old in and out on the good mountain, morning, and he'll start the working the his way on that upper slalom. Turns the wrong way, but he's got some nerves happening right now in first place, it's curving around through the mouth of the beast. It's, it's Zotek in first place, left. turning around again for that. Did I miss something? Hits those gates twice. Props to Zotek for making sure that's my kind of pilot right there. Maybe I should add him to Team Tiny. Would that Zotek be hilarious? All right, now he's moving left. on to his next lap in first place, narrowly evading danger on that wall ride, way too close to the wall. Who have we got with him? I believe he's in a league of his own. Well, no. I'm showing Hornicorn out in front right now. Right. Hornicorn's already at the back of the room in front, so he's moving on to his final lap. There he goes up towards the spiral tunnel. It's not IT Mom. It's at Mom 42.9 final lap. Yep, so we've got Hornicorn entering the mountain for the final time, or excuse me, on his final lap. It Mom now entering the mountain for the final time. Zotek trying so hard to get up on that final lap. Zotek at technically not a tech 46 point there it final is. lap. Benny Blanco can't get that wing out from underneath the tiny up Q gate. He is stuck and stuck. Now Hornicorn on his final lap already headed up the lock tower. It Mom a little bit behind. Hits that Joker lap to try to catch up. Horny it's going to be enough to lock in, possibly a second, but Horny there's. The oh, Benny Blanco is loose. Lap, two, 12, but It Mom getting zero. ready to finish this it's out right now and knock it's those two out. Look at that. It Mom with the Yospin into the crash gate seals the deal. Hornicorn and It Mom are now wrestling inside the finish gate. You can see them just fighting face to face while Zotek and Benny Blanco round out their victory lap. Yep, I don't know what they're other. like doing some sort of, <laughs> speaking of kissing, it's like slightly distracting. I mean, I'm here starting to be Sorry, bombed out that my man Zotek is, whoa! Oh! Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that dodge? Who saw that dodge? It was a little bit of this. Boom! <laughs> I love it, dude. We appreciate it. I love it. it. Mad respect. Thank you. He thinks he got me. Isn't that adorable, ladies right. and gentlemen? They always think they got you. Just I want to. I want him to go home and. Say, I want him to go home and say he did get me. I want him to tell all of his friends. He's the first and only pilot to ever. Fin oh, oh my God! <laughs> first and only. Oh look, green canopy. <laughs> All right, so this looks, uh, this, this looks Who like was a, that? Hey, what's oh, up, bro? What's up, it, Mom? Hell yeah. <laughs> that was it, Mom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it, Mom, with his final pack of whoop wars, takes it to my face. You think he thinks he got me? <laughs> That's adorable. It is. He got me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, all right. Jedi Jesse says, Slade, what's up, dude? Thanks for joining us in the chat. Like on my, my name is Jeff later. Singh. A towel just won. I need to rock my... Oh, Street my League. League. Yeah, let's shout out Street League. If you guys don't know about Street League, Street League is an amazing seven-inch drone league. They do races all over the place. Street League Denver, headquartered here out of Full Send FEV, ran by Sky, DRL pilot. Yeah, let's also mention that Street League is a um, is a league based on a rig built by Jordan Temkin, one of the founding members of Team Big Whoop, and some of his DRL friends created what they called the Practice Rig, <laughs> which is a really fat, beefy carbon fiber frame that you can build up. It's no longer in production, but I think Jet gave away the files, and now you can print your own. So it all started with DRL pilots wanting to get their hands on the, the Racer 4. Before the Racer 4 even came out, they made their own Racer 4 with roughly the same weight distribution and prop size powertrain. And uh, now it's this huge street league where people are racing seven inches. <laughs> Um, Crazy. It's really cool. It's a really cool uh, phenomenon right. in the FPV. And they're not community. just seven inches. They're seven inches with a minimum weight standard of 1,280 grams. Oh, they're grams. fat. They're fat seven inches. They're powerful. They're underpowered and fat, just like DRL. Look at there's pro dangles in the chat saying Street League is life. It's an <laughs> excellent enterprise, and I got a lot of respect for the pilots that chase it down and participate. You know, really cool. So, have a look at the bracket. We just finished up. Um, 
Match number eight, which means we've got match number 10 populated. Have a look at the semifinals in the winner's bracket coming up shortly. But first, match number nine, nope, we, we just finished, finished yep. and we've got to go to match number 10. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> you were trying so hard to correct me and I just wasn't getting it. <laughs> match number 10 has got a bunch of our friends in it and it's going to be another elimination bracket. This is a fight to stay alive for Bella Chow, Leadfingers, Selenia, and Sheesh FPV. Who are you rooting for? Bella Ch I've got to root for the hometown right there with Selenia. Selenia has got to take this. Come into match 12, work his way back up into the finals. I know he can do it. Hey, kind of cool to check out launch cam from on board the aircraft for a second there. A major pound for lead fingers. <laughs> uh, but look at that, Selenia, your favorite, already at the top of the room. He's got traffic from Sheesh and Bella Chow. Sheesh in second, Bella Chow in third. First place, still Selenia in reactor number one but a little bit of a tap there and Sheesh moves into first place. Sheesh mo moving his way around reactor number two. He looks back on that curl and can see Selenia chasing him down. He knows selenia has got the skill to catch him. So look, Selenia taking advantage of his loss there and going for the early Joker lap. Cuts his way out. Look, he's at the lock tower right alongside Sheesh now. And who's gonna make it out first? Selenia crosses, oh, I spoke too soon. Sheesh crosses over, Sheesh on lap number two in first place. Selenia trying to get off his lid, an unfortunate crossover onto lap number two. And I'm looking now at Bella Chow, who could even make a move on Selenia in the, in the next Bella lap Chow and a half. It's not out of the question. Selenia doesn't want to get first place at this point. Let this guy get back, or let him hold on to second for the rest of this round, and we're gonna see him in the future. He's getting some heat from Bella Chow, but Leadfingers seems to be parked and having some sort of trippy color party up there. I don't really know what's going on, but I love it. All right, it looks like an, arty, an LED artsy exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look at that. Selenia and Sheesh together Sheesh on the lock tower one more time. Sheesh final crosses lap. over onto his final lap, and here comes Selenia. Final, final lap for Sylvania, the two of them. Final lap. And Bella Chow in third place, trying so hard to stay alive. That's local pilot Glenn, a friend of mine. He's going to have Bella to Chow rely on a later, considerable mistake, a bobble lap. of hardcore proportions by Selenia or Sheesh. Maybe a freak accident could put one of them down and keep Bella Chow 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 alive. It's going to be hard now. They are running away with it. Selenia with a minor error. He's in the lava pit. Up quick, though. Right. Up quick. And Bella Chow already at the reactor. So Selenia's got a fair amount of breathing room. And now already at the lock Sheesh tower. Sheesh is going to lock it in with a crash into the, the crash three gate. Two, three and okay, Selenia just trying to calmly work these last two gates. There's one. There's Solenia two. Like and a stumble into the crash four. gate. Solenia We're going to give it to like Selenia in second place. Sheesh FPV result. and Selenia keep themselves alive at Whoop Wars as we watch Leadfingers go for a prop change. That is an unfortunate end to his Bella career later, at Whoop Wars 22 here at Full Send. We, I mean, it's like there's this thing All about these quads finished. having a party the race is completed. in the crash gate. Right. Like, who started that? Was it horny corn? <laughs> I feel like it was a horny corn move. <laughs> Got Leadfingers coming around to finish up his stuff. I love that Leadfingers went back for the second half of the gate on top of the mountain. I saw right. someone else try to skip that today. Oh, no. And it's I had to just the biggest once. cringy eye roll in the world when you see someone try to skip a half a gate and wonder if someone's going to notice. Right. The answer is yes, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to notice. And if it's one of us that doesn't notice, guess what? They're going to notice on the stream. They're going to let us know. And we're going to go back and we're going to rewatch that footage. We've reached, we're closing in on the end of the pro class finals. Ladies and gentlemen, just four heats left, not counting any additional chase the ace heats. Right. The next one's going to be match number 11, where we're going to determine two of our four finalists. The two that don't make it into the finals are going to meet us in match 13, the overall semifinals for this event, and the race that determines the final two pilots going into the chase the ace for the championship. So let's go into race number 11, DeBits, Radioactive, DioGTS, and Chromium. And I believe DioGTS at this point does have Iron Man active. I'm going to check right now. All right, our platinum sponsors. We've got We Bleed FPV and Orca, who have some amazing course features here today on the mountain. 
So right behind this sponsor screen, you will see a pair of goggles. Those are the Orca goggles right on the other side of that mountain. We have the We Bleed Cave. Thank you so much to our sponsors. And of course, Pers Perspective Image for providing this amazing stream. Huge shout out to Perspective Image, the hero of this show. Well, one of the many heroes. I just did confirm Dial GTS does indeed epically have Iron Man active going into heat number 11, and this is going to be the hard one for him to keep it alive on. Who will win the unicorn, says Leviticus. It could be you, Lev. Come on in. We'll see you in probably... You're, I bet you're here by now, actually. Well, match number 11 could be the most important match of this race. And it could be a prequel to the final four going in to chase the ace for the championship. Oftentimes, you take a look at match number 11, and you know two of those pilots are going straight to finals, but the other two might bounce down to match number 13, beat out people from the consolation bracket, and wind up one more time taking on the people they just raced in 11 for the finals at Chase the Ace Challenge. So it could be that kind of race. The one thing we do know, it's going to be an outstanding race. So stay tuned. We're just, it looks like we are actually plugging in right now. Can't quite, so oh yeah, there it is. We're plugging in, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big one. What up, Nanoshock FPV? Let's go, Team Weebleed. There's Chromium, chilling alone on the leather couch with all the confidence in the world. He's going to take another attempt at Dio GTS last time. Almost got him. A, you know, a fraction of a second separating their finishing times. And uh, looks like the whole shot once again goes to Dio GTS. He's the first one through the wall ride to the top of the room, taking it nice and nice and wide. He's got traffic right now. Oh my gosh, it's the bits. The bits is right on him and not giving him much room to breathe. He's not the only one there. Three pilots riding side by side here in match number 11. This is a big one. There they are in reactor number two. Dio goes straight for the Joker lap, and he's going to extend his lead with that technique. He's already going up the clock tower, and a smooth clock tower at this point in the game would be a game changer for Dio. He got it. D2 now he's on to the GTS lap number DYO two and making that over the intercom. Left. Strikes fear in the hearts of his opponents, Chromium ladies and gentlemen. Chromium in second place left. crosses over and is flying like a maniac. Chromium wants him. He doesn't need to get first place, but why left. not rob Dio GTS? of that Iron Man rule. He's got an effect, a major error by Chromium in second place is trouble for him. And now he's about to get some action Radioactive from the bits. Radioactive crossing over on left. a lap number two in fourth place. Dio GTS no longer has that Joker lap available, but he's made quick work of the slalom through the back. And look, he's got attention from Chromium right now. Chromium with a pretty considerable, bo considerable bobble at bad timing. To the y to the o to the GTS gives the advantage to Dio GTS. Still lap. chilling. Iron Man in effect. First place going into his final lap here in match number 11. Looking like he's on pace. Oh, the bits a major error. And he sets it down. Headed Chromium back to the top shiny, of the room. A quick regather and he's going to maintain first place. But he's got some action coming up from behind him. I mean, have a look at the bits is right there and Chromium trying to catch up. So Dio GTS still holding on to a strong first place. We know he doesn't have any more availability to take that Joker lap, so he'll weave through the eyes of, oh, weave real far out the eyes, and really lucky recovery as he spins out so Radio far, he dips out the whoop-shaped hole, and lap. now he's getting ready to lock it in, maintaining the Iron Man DIY into finals. GTS, it's Dio GTS from Team Deadlock, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable show. DeBits is down and stuck Chromium under the tank. Shiny, 45, Chromium getting ready to bring it around. There it is, it's official. Chromium can't quite catch our Iron Man, but secures his spot in the finals to defend his championship as your pro class whoop wars 2021 champion chromium fpv in second so just like that the bits and radioactive another team deadlock pilot gonna move into match number 13 we'll revisit with them in just two rounds and see if they can fight their way into the finals but no worry for your Iron Man, Dio GTS, or Chromium FPV, the local hero here from Denver, the, the, the pro class champion from last year, have secured their spots.
in the pro class finals for Chase the Ace in just two rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Look at the people in the chat. Get some Rodney by Deadlike FPV saying, go Joe, go Dio, go. He, they went. Uh, and we're not saying goodbye to um, Rod yet either. There it is, it's official. Dio GTS and Chromium showing their spots in the finals on the far right of your screen. Debits and Radioactive moving down from match 11 to 13. They are now in the official overall semifinal for the entire event here in the, in the Pro Class Finals. And they are going to take on whoever wins this next match. It's a fight to stay alive in match number 12. Hornycorn, Itmom, Sheesh FPV, and Selenia have one more chance to eke their way into match number 13 by winning number 12. And the winner of thir winners of 13, like I said a moment ago, meet Dio and Chromium in the finals for an epic showdown. That was a fun round. Huge respect for Dio, who is showing a new level of skill this year. And just flying so strong and confident. Fewer errors than I've ever seen. Certainly fewer errors than every, anyone else in the, uh, the heat there. I can see some of the elite class pilots showing up. Wes Burson, Blue Jay, showing up. I, he, I saw him cross the bottom of the screen. And some of our, there's Selenia standing. I see him ready for the race. Dio GTS strutting around, looking pretty comfortable. I see Chromium on the lower right, taking the, oh wait, that's not Chromium. Well, stickers are starting to amass there on the starting block, and that means I gotta get over there and drop off some of my own. I'm sitting on stacks of stickers right here. All right, so I got my stickers. Ready to go over there next chance I get. I may have to wait until the beginning of elite class practice to get over there. Deadlock FPV, OMG, strong work, fellas. Couldn't agree more. The Deadlock team has turned up and is turning out here at Whoop Wars 22. Off grid everything says GG Dio and Chromium. Zach says this just keeps getting better and better. All right, here we go, elimination bracket. This is the last chance to stay alive for Hornycorn, Itmom, Sheesh, and Selenia. I know you're rooting for Selenia. Nice shades, by the way. Thank you. Oh, Selenia with a difficult face plant on the wall ride gate. And looks like we've got Sheesh battling Hornycorn. Sheesh just barely in front, gives a little bit of pressure to Hornycorn. Now Hornycorn can't get it back together as Sheesh Finishes up reactor number one, starts reactor number two. Sheesh now starting to pull ahead. Hornycorn back there, getting in the action. He knows there's still time. The race is not won on lap number one. He's already in reactor number two. Sheesh now climbing the uh, clock tower. And I looked away from Sheesh for a minute, but I'm just going to go out on the limit and say maybe Sheesh took that laps left. Joker lap in lap number one. A fair lead by Sheesh Who's FPV now. Lights it up like Sylvania, excellent transition between the two left. hyperdrives at the top of the room. Look at the confidence we're seeing from Sheesh it's right now. It's not IT mom. It's it mom. Uh, okay, as soon as I say that, left. slightly less smooth, but a very long, smooth string of flight maneuvers there for Sheesh FPV in first place. Now going through that slalom in the back of the mountain. Some kind of error happened with the quad there. Glad he was able to get up again. A very strange spin out from contact. Selenia hitting that joker lap on the upper left of your screen. There he gets through the reactor number three and into a very fast dip through the clock tower. And Selenia is crossing like over with a 39 second lap. lap onto his final lap. Sheesh Made the pass on Sheesh in lap. that last moment there. Selenia now in first place. I'm double checking this information. It's yes, Mom. it's Selenia in it's first Mom right now, but confused at the top. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Sheesh got back in front while I was talking about it. So now Sheesh in reactor number two. Selenia now in reactor number two. Does Selenia have a joker? Nope, Selen Selenia used it in lap two. So it's a race f for the clock tower between Selenia and Sheesh. But these two just want to keep it in first or second place. They want to go up and Sheesh kebab, there it is. Sheesh five, crossing Sheesh over, kebab, hits the, the crash lap, gate, making it official. Got an applause from the crowd. Selenia with a considerable error. And look, Itmom is right there 
Climbing the lock tower. Solenia needs to get it together. There's been a pass. Here comes Itmom. Itmom turning for the crash gate. Gets in. What happened? What happened there? Did Selenia get that? Wow, what happened there? We need Dan over here. Where's Skittles? Skittles! Skittles going to give us that photo finish if we can talk him into it. Okay. Can we get can we get the photo finish on the laptop from you again? For three and four, two. Yes. I mean two, two and three. three. For two and three. Four. 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 So it really matters right now. Ooh, I was just a good the race is completed. Hey, pull that we'll mic up a little closer. And who are you talking to? Lead fingers about all. They can run DJI and H D zero and analog on the same race. Who's they? Street League. Oh, cool. They, cool. That's crazy. They only do four up, but still. All right. So, my man Dan, right here. He's Literally here the same time? Did we ever get a camera right on the... No. All right. Let's see. And the timing system can't here be trusted. Go. Let's see it. Pro final. <laughs> Love the pro finals. This is when it always gets so good. All right. Dan's scrubbing through some of the footage to do a, an unofficial DVR review. And I have a feeling he's not the only one checking. Who thinks they won? That's what I want to know. Who thinks they got it? Who was in first? Sheesh. First was Sheesh. He's going to cross over first. So you can you can fast forward to where Sheesh crosses. Yeah, the problem is like, it's oh, yeah. to fast well, forward. Is this is 10 seconds. Is it? Yeah. Oh. All I right. thought this was 10 seconds, but that's... that's... So... I'm going to keep you up to date, but I'm trying not to just watch TV while I'm actually hosting the live stream. Dan's skipping ahead. And uh, it does matter because the, totally the two matters. winners of this one are going to go into the semifinals for this yeah, entire... Yeah, no out, but... Oh, wait. No, yeah. some people are two, out. Two are out. Yeah, okay, yeah, it totally matters. But. And is it it, Mom or Selenia? This lap. Okay, here, this is it. This is it. Wait, pause it. Okay, so Selenia's where are... Here. It, they're like almost even right now. I can't tell which one's Be real head. careful. Oh, nope. no, wrong one. All right. Button. Okay, there we are. Okay, it mom. Looks like it Selenia's mom. slightly ahead. Selenia looking ahead. Oh, oh my mom, gosh. Dude. It looks to be Selenia by a single frame. It looks to be Selenia yeah, by I, there's, I think he's a single frame early. in front of it mom. That's oh as close as I've seen it. I kind of want to shout out and ask what's hey, going Lonnie. on. What's going on with the with official Lonnie, results here? Out, you got to see this, man. See We're calling this. over Selenia. So Look lady, how close this is. Ladies and gentlemen, Selenia FPV coming in to check Boom. out how Boom. close this is. Boom. So look. Here's you up here. Here's it. I think Selenia is in by one frame. I think you're in right frame. here and he's one out. He's one frame out. See, well, we're going to check in. Passes. Well, here, we'll go back. We got to get official results. Um, but it's hard to argue with the video footage when we show Selenia about, you know, at so, most a single camera you're, frame. You're a little bit behind here, he's ahead. Yeah, they changed places like twice in the last you're, one second. Here. I wish I could turn the camera and you could just see all these people right here gathered. Okay, guys, come around here. Come around. See, it looks, come on. Here you guys are like almost even, maybe in mom's head. Now but squat down so like everybody can see you. It's so hard to tell. It looked. It looks Birds. like you're definitely further here. Dr. Ryan. I can't tell no, when Dr. he breaks Ride. the plane, though. Selenia. I feel like Lonnie breaks the plane on this frame. Exactly. And then Itmom breaks the plane on this frame. Or that Selenia frame. One got of those that two. one. What was that? It looks like, it looks was, like he's uh, like a frame or two Almost in, right? like right? so close so that we couldn't tell right from here. the DVR. It was like. Here it looks like Selenia is so further. That was, and was not. So that she and should And then Selenia is definitely further in here. I All right. Look at this. They're telling us official results right now. Bump. Bump. Sheesh, you're going to F7, Selenia to E6. I'm told they called it for Selenia by a single frame. Looks like about a frame. And I respect that call by the judges. Big respect. Awesome racing, Selenia. That was a great show. That's what that's what the people want, right? Right, people? One more and you're in the finals, right? Yep, one more and Selenia chills in the finals. Love that. Yeah, instant re instant replay capability. Luckily, you already have it on your computer the same way we do. We're just pulling up the. I, I see. The, I see um, sitting about one frame ahead. The live it's stream. Really, it's really hard to we tell see the when same they thing. cross, but it, it looks. Yeah. No, that's a great call. Per 
you can still see a little bit of a frame. That's it. And no, that's that's very solid. We got your back. That's what I saw. It's perfect. It's almost a tie. Yeah, it is hard to tell. I mean, you don't you can't blame anybody for looking twice, but when you look twice, you see the truth and so then you got it. Yeah. Look look for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Pull up frame the live frame. stream, if go watching, frame by frame. If you're watching on um, YouTube, YouTube, which you are, you can use the period and the comma or the brackets. And when you're paused, when you have paused the camera, if you click it, it just goes frame by frame. Yep. So that's a good way to review things like that. Yeah. If it's not paused, it's already moving frame by frame quickly. Yes. So pause good. it. <laughs> No, it's good to point out that you have to pause it. Oh, no, that it's I moving wasn't. by frame by frame quickly and it's playing normally. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't trying to mock you with that joke, though. Okay. I was trying to mock you. Street League. Oh, I'm going to stick this on my... Yeah, no, take somewhere. it out. Horse. Street League. Well, I'm just going to keep adding stickers all day. That was close. I thought the one with me and Dio was close. I know, no. But that was like several frames. Yeah, that's as close as it gets. I don't think I'm pulling this. Okay, have a look at this bracket, you guys. We already figured out who's going into match 13. It's Selenia, DeBits, Radioactive, and Sheesh after that close call. And two of these pilots are going to take on Dio GTS, our current Iron Man and Chromium, our current pro class champion from 2021 here. He's back to defend it, and he's already up against the Iron Man. He's won every single one. Guys. He's won every single one. Oh, yeah. He's got Iron Man in effect, and they've got, a, they've got a fight to get up to that level. Sheesh, Selenia, DeBits, and Radioactive are about to battle to the death. This is an elimination round with the winners going to finals for Chase the Ace Championship. I think Chromium's probably the fastest overall, but Dio is just so I know, solid. I know. Chromium is all is just one of the smartest faster. like and flying pilots. He never makes dumb look, mistakes. They battled in race eleven. They battled in race eight. You know what I mean? And both times Chromium clearly was out reaping, front and made a crash. Uh, not so much out front, but oh. can't quite get out front. Dio's got a bomb hole shot. Yeah. He gets in front. You know, he's always the first one to the wall ride. But um he but always flies really smart. You can tell, like, he's so smart. within the yeah. race, he he's has a spotter. He's not, like, yeah, it's pushing like too much. And then say, sometimes when he needs to, he's He knows thyself. Fast. Yes. Exactly, yeah. Pardon me. And I've I, chased him many times and been behind him just <laughs> watching those LEDs and been like, come on, make a crash so I can pass. But Never no. happens. Then you gotta, I had to try to get him at the very last turn in, in the crash gate at Utopia, and I did. What up, Redding, who's joining us and running all of the Hydra. By the way, join us for the pilot picking on Hydra. Shout out to Justin Downright FPV, chilling out, chilling over there in California and helping us out. He says in YouTube, J and L jump forward and back 10 seconds. Left and right arrows jump by five seconds. Period and comma jump frame by frame. Awesome oh, life pro tip right there. Did was everybody just learn something? Shout out in the chat if you was just it? learned something. J and L is 10 seconds. Huh. Arrows are five seconds. I gave you bad information. Comma period frame by frame. Accurate. We give you we give that life pro tip a thumbs Thanks, up. Thanks, Reading FPV. Shout the out 10 to second Justin. jump. That's a good one. No, it's even good. know the five seconds. I want the 30 second. Is yeah. that one hidden on the keyboard somewhere? Nope, nope, I quit. <laughs> what, are we doing? what are we doing? Oh, looks like maybe we're doing some raffle stuff. There's so much happening right now, ladies and gentlemen, and the big one is we're coming into the semifinals of the pro class where we're going to find out who's going to take on the current Iron Man and the current champion of the pro class. That's Dio and Chromium, respectively. Right after that, right after that championship, which will be a heater, we're going into the elite class finals. Where I'm going to try to get some Cinewoop of the track. Oh, in between? Yeah. Love because that. afterwards they're going to like turn on the lights and people will be standing out there. I want some clean, clean cinema. I, it's going to be tough, though. <laughs> totally. I don't know. By the way, congrats on your that. big win. Oh, thanks. Heck yeah. yeah. You got a trophy. You After watching this cash. class, I don't feel quite as bad. I don't think I would have done very well in this class. <laughs> they're fucking bad. No, dude. That was a great <laughs> show. I loved your racing. That was cool, the Iron Man. I've never done that before. 
Oh, I four We Bleed brand yeah, new yeah. batteries, four wins. I mean, That's all it takes. There would have been, you would never have won with any other battery. <laughs> I know. And no other battery would ever have won. Accurate. Oh, we have it. It's so that shirt. Slippy Dave has defended the rock, paper, scissors um, medallion seven times now. He's the new champion. He's going for number eight. It's a tie. And remember, there's not much time left because oh, right before. Dave is smart. I played against him. We were like clear, like we went like 10 or 11 to get the three. And he, he's like. He, he, he oh sees gosh, what you he does and he hit. reacts to it. I think Dave. I think Dave is one of the best rock paper scissors around. He's not just throwing random things. You're thinking about what they threw, what they're gonna do. I see it. I see you. I All do. right, you guys. Semifinals are underway. Debits, radioactive Selenia and Sheesh are fighting for a spot to get into the finals. Two of these guys are going to the finals. Two of them are being excused from the building. We will ask you to leave. I'm joking again. Who's out front right now? We've got a couple of pilots going through the reactors. Selenia and DeBits. Here's DeBits oh, just ahead down. of Selenia on reactor number two and flying slightly slower. Selenia can see him right Ooh. in his feet. Did you see that on yeah. Selenia's screen? That's the bits and Selenia, right? There he is two. again. A really rough feed for us in the live stream, but the viewer, the pilot has better video. Uh -oh. And look how tight they are. DeBits for oh, Selenia. Oh, no. Selenia. Selenia takes a nosedive, and DeBits is going to run away and in that open radio door. Radio bits and bites, 43. Crossing over on lap number two. Left. Second, second one across, like Selenia, lap number oh. two in a major left. error. Radioactive, radioactive coming in for the pass. The pass. Oh, be there it is. Laps left. All right, so radioactive in second place going Ooh, to the top a little bit of the wider room. Turn for radioactive. is parked on the floor. DeBits looking like he could have some trouble here. Just Sheesh barely ahead of radioactive and Selenia left. now as Sheesh begins his second lap. Radioactive and Selenia still side by side oh, and hits more errors. Eight. So DeBits going Selenia through. Second. The mountain for the final time headed to the clock tower. Ooh, Lap number two again. is Malani. Get out of there! No, no, no. Okay, we're commentators. The bits invites forty-four so, bits on his final lap. lap now heads up the wall ride oh, no. to the top of the room, <laughs> and the emotions making getting the best of my co-commentator Skittles as he's rooting so, way, my, our real local hard for pilot. Selenia. Yeah, yeah, he's your friend. DeBits in first place, squirrels around Radio reactor number two. And flat final oh, it's so close. Oh, they're on the like same gate. Oh, who are you looking at? Selenian radioactive for two, three. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Lonnie takes a slight lead. Lonnie being Selenia. Selenia, excuse me. Selenia takes a slight lead. He's that ABA show of bias. DeBits, first place in the bag. They both have the Joker here, I'm pretty sure. here. Pretty sure they both have a Joker, Joker available. Joker for Selenia. Oh, but Radioactive doesn't do the Joker. Either he already did it and I didn't notice, or <gasps> but Lonnie crashes. Oh my God, okay, it's so close. This is it. Radioactive climbs the clock he's tower. Gotta keep it clean. He's got to keep it clean. Selenia lights it up like Selenia 37.3. Selenia gets across, and Dan is all about it, ladies and gentlemen. Close for First Radioactive. First place to bits in the finals. Selenia in the finals with, uh, with Chromium and Dio now to bits. These four are going to go into a Chase the Ace championship now. Yeah. And Sheesh. Sheesh Riding out that victory lap. Most consistent and fastest sim pilots the race is completed. learning that real life not quite the same. So Sheesh coming in sixth place in the pro class. Radioactive fifth place overall in the pro class. We'll bring Selenia and DeBits to the finals here to take on the current champion of the pro class, Chromium FPV, a Denver local hero, and Dial GTS rocking the Iron Man from Team Deadlock. This is going to be a heater, ladies and gentlemen. There's the complete bracket. Total turnaround for Selenia. He had just really rough the whole qualifying. First four rounds, he was below Rivet. And then oh, yeah. his fifth one, he got a good one. Jumped up, you know, in the middle of pros here. And now just super solid after dropping down. Won three matches in a row, or advanced three times in a row to make it to the finals. So we've got... Dio, I'm pretty sure Dio is our only angle pilot out of this group, right? Chromium, to Bits, and Selenia are acros. I'll be surprised sure. if Chromium's acro. Oh, what does Chromium fly? What? Skittlebagger? Oh, that's what I named my screen name. 
Iron Banger. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I made my. Did you see? I made my my Skittle Bagger. I figured they were gonna be calling me out, so I was like, let's just lean into it. <laughs> I'm just gonna reset my chat, make sure I'm totally up to up to par here as we right. get ready to say what's up to, to our sponsors. This family of sponsors came together. We bleed and Orca are our platinum sponsors, giving the most and sponsoring at the highest level to make this event possible. We or excuse me, Beta FPV, Newbie Drone, and Tiny Whoop are our diamond level sponsors on the gold level, Happy Model, Gem Fan, and Vifly. Silver sponsors, Emax, Tattoo, Fractal, Mile High, and of course, our pal, Dr. Ride Industries. This stream brought to you by Perspective Image, the channel with all the hottest tiny whip races. You heard it from me, Jesse P. Subscribe. Got to shout out Emax because I'm on the Hawks in the Weebleed series, sponsored by Emax. Go Hawks. Go fighting Hawks. <laughs> Go we're, no, we're no face punch, but you know. You're, no, no, you got the spirit. <laughs> okay. You guys are going to get the spirit award. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a bunch here. BTs, any of those, are also all charged. Oh, yeah. Take the, take the running high around here, the ladies and gentlemen. With the plus on them. It's or the arrow, starting those three. To get emotional here at Full Send FPV going into the finals. Greenhorn I mean, saying thank you, sponsors. Punk rock sign, hey, muscle sign, fire sign. I uh, read emojis. All the pilots are just sort of huddling around. We've got the elite class pilots. They're all here because they're next after this race. We're going live for the first Chase the Ace finals. There they go. We're watching Dio and Iron Man. We're watching the Chromium who's stumbled through the start finish gate. He is your champion and a little bit of making up to do now, especially after bobble number two early in the lap. The bits taking a huge dive and have a look. Dio GTS, your Iron Man with a strong lead right now in reactor number two. No, reactor number two now. He's swirling around and about to finish that maneuver. A lot of pilots trying to catch him. Chromium's a, a couple features back. Selenia also several features back into bits still at the top of the room as Dio GTS. I believe he, I looked away for a minute, but I think he did the same technique of the early Joker lap, knocking it out. It does make it easier to think about how you're going to handle your GTS, next two runs. Lap number flat, one goes to our left. Iron Man with a bobble coming out of it. He resets all the way back to the beginning of that tunnel, just like a champion does. And he's at the top of the room, nice and wide with a safe transition Chromium between the hyperdrives. And he'll work his way into the left. mountain, looking back at his competition. Who have we got? It's Chromium in second place, chasing hard, wanting those second place points if he can't left. get out in front. He's gonna have to rely on a considerable error by your Iron Man, Dio GTS. And look at this, I believe like he did go for his um, Joker left. lap in lap number one. He slaloms the mountain, he curls through the mouth and look, he's climbing the clock tower on lap number two. Well, the rest of the field faces minor errors, all recoverable. Selenia with GTS, another DYL serious drop. And there's lap. Dio crossing onto his final lap all alone with the wall ride, all alone to the top of the room. Your Iron Man and potential dethroning champion, Dio GTS on his final lap final right lap. now, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot left, anything can happen. Is Selenia on the same lap? No, like not quite. Final lap. Not sure. I just got a Chromium weird read from shiny. Selenia, but I think he's a lap back. Lap. Now, Dio GTS, look. He's got the final lap for his Joker lap. He's already climbing the clock tower for the last time with Iron Man in is effect, even Dan. Close to him? Nobody's over. even close. Dio GTS he would crosses have to over, GTS, pins it into the start and finish gate. Our GTS, champion of the pro GTS, class GTS, is Dio GTS, but we're still okay, so racing now the for points. Finishes matter as long as finishes second matter. Here. Chromium still in second place, and now he's in the second reactor. He does not oh, have so when he goes does not have a Joker lap to use, but may not the need it. There's the bits moving on. Oh, the bits did three. The bits did three. The bits did three. The bits get second. Chromium getting third, so he'll he'll chill on the podium 
and he'll chill in that crash game with his friends. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Dio GTS shows up for the pro class with the highest possible seed for that class and then rides first place mm. all the way to that Iron Man chase the ace finish. Champion of the pro class, Dio GTS from Team Deadlock. Epic finish. And a huge shout out to DeBits. That's Mike Chen from here in Colorado. Uh, with an awesome second place finish. He'll be standing on the podium in just a minute. Chromium, who took first place last year, decides to let someone else have a turn, but he won't give up the podium. The Chromium's gonna be taking home third place cash and prizes for the pro class. And what a finish. An Iron Man story for the pro class finals. <laughs> and it's a it's not just two Iron Mans in a row. Yeah, it's 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 the LEDs on the outside. It has of the to be drum. the LEDs. They do make you faster. I mean, how many Check people are running LEDs on the outside? is stoked. <laughs> Woohoo! In the chat, love that. Sco FPV says awesome races. Off the grid saying great job to bits. Couldn't agree more. Dropping a deuce on the Pro Class Finals in second place. Oh, I need to get this. Well, lots of congratulations, photos, trophies, and ceremonies ensue, but. The energy in the room now starts to look towards elite class. To get into elite class, you can't be any geek off the street, ladies and gentlemen. These pilots are top tier navigators of the indoor airspace. Tiny Whoop pilots you never knew could exist. Prepare to race on this epic race course here at Full Send FPV. It's Whoop Wars 2022 and the elite class is next.